Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how to create an AI agent to get the person details. So let's see the steps involved. So now here, to create an agent to get a person details, we require these particular four steps. The first one is we need to create a business object and we have to assign the business object to the tool. And then we have to create an agent team and in that we have to create an agent. So let's see the step. The first step is as the requirement is to get a person detail based on the person number. So now in this one, you can observe here, we are creating a business object and the business object name, we mentioned it as employee details three. And the product is global human resources, families, HCM, resource type, monolithic resource. And also you can observe the path of this REST API and then here we created a business object function, which is getting the data based on the person number. You can observe here the parameter, the queue is equal to person number is equal to, and the parameter name we mentioned as person number. So the person number is of data type string. Okay. And this is a resource path of the REST API, which we are creating. So this is the first step, nothing but this is a business object. This business object, we have to assign to a tool of type business object. Now, the independent business object we have created in the first step. Now we have to create a tool and the type tool type is business object. And here we just need to assign this. We have to assign the business object tool here. And you can observe here the business object we have attached here, employee details three. And it is having the list. It shows a list of functions which are available for that particular business object. This is the second step. Now the third step is we need to create a supervisor agent. And then you can observe the details here, the agent detail name. The type is supervisor description and also make sure that you mention the security role. And once the agent supervisor is created, you create an agent, a worker agent in the supervisor agent and also assign the tool, the one which we created in the second step, employee details, three business object. Once this is done, your particular agent, AI agent is ready to be run. You can observe here, this is a functionality you are expecting to uh, check in this particular demo. So here you can observe here, I just provided a person number and it provides the data like this. The name of the person, the person number, the display name, and the email address, etc. Right? Let's see the logic now. So we'll just go to the instance. So I'll just go here and yeah, we'll navigate to the tools. Agent Studio. Let's click here. Yes. Okay, it's working now. I'll just navigate to tools. Agent Studio. This is a landing page of the Agent Studio. And the first step we need to create is a business object. We'll directly go to the business object. And here we'll create our business object now. So family type HCM and the global resource. And now the name of the business object. We have to make sure that you need to identify a business object information respectively. So I just add this information in hand. So I'll try to enter the data or make a note of the data. So we'll just mention it as employee details business object demo. So I'll just copy this name and resource type monolithic and the, now the very important one the path right so you just need to mention the data like this fill this path get employee data or details now here once you mention the resource path just click on add some specification it generates a list of operations which are available in this particular rest api you select the one which is having this particular function get a worker and click on done. Now here, the resource path, it is expecting that you will need to provide a person ID, but our requirement is we don't want to provide a person ID. We want to provide a person number. So I'll just copy this particular path and mention here. And now once you click, you can observe here. So just click on done. 
Yes. So once you mention once you mention the resource path, automatically the parameter will be created here. The thing is, you just require make sure that you need to mention the description, person number, details. I'll go with the default. No other changes. Click on done. Let's see if it is anything pending. Yeah. So now, employee details vivo demo is our business object name. So you can make a note of this one. Click on create. Database constraint was violated, changing the demo. Let me mention some of the name if it is having some issue. Let me try this. Okay, I'll just say get employee details data business object. Okay, it's not working. Let me try. Just click on cancel. It happens. Let's try once more. We'll go with HCM. Product is global human resources. I'll say get employee details. Sorry, business object. Demo. Monolithic. Get employee details. So until unless we mention this one, it will not work, right? So what we do is we'll just try to mention this, right? Just click on create. We have to create, select this one, business function, this one, right? So this is by default one which is generated, and but our requirement is we want to provide the information based on the person member, so we need to use this particular resource path. So it will generate and see the parameters and just here person number. Let's try this. So based on the new scenario, here we mentioned right. So I'll try to change this also. Get employee details. Plus person. Let's try. Yeah, perfect. So make a note of our business object. So this was the one you can just see again. This was the business object we created. Okay. Now, next thing is you need to create a tool. So I'll just create a tool. Click on add. The tool type is business object. And the tool name. So what I'll do is I'll just say business object get employee details tool your type demo okay this is my tool name so i'll just mention here tool is this one vivo is this one okay here get employee details and now we need to assign the business object click here and you can just search get employee Right, we got it. Get employee details business object demo. Click on add. Click on create. So the creation of the tool is done. Now we go to the agent team and here click on add and I'll say employee details agent demo. I'll make a note here. Supervisor agent name is this one, and I'll just go with HCM. Product is global human resources. Mono supervisor agent, and I'll just go with this. Get employee details agent. Now there are a couple of things you need to change here, and LLM you can go with the default. As of now, like uh, in this latest version, Oracle is providing an option for the vendor to change the provider name. So here it shows the list of uh, LLM vendors, Llama and GPT is there. 
and i'll not change that as of now security this is a place where you need to add, mention the appropriate security role which you think it is appropriate for your particular agent so let me try the human capital related one i'll just go with this next gen agent and apply now questions nothing input variables nothing i'll just click on create so the supervisor agent is this one employee details agent demo now we have to click on this worker agent this icon now create a worker agent now so i'll just create a worker agent employee details worker agent demo and hcm same thing hcm global human resources max interaction will go with 20 as of now global employee details worker agent demo so let's click on create so now the agent got created and the very important part is you need to assign the tool right click on the tool once you select the tool it shows a list of tools based on the context which you are in it shows appropriate components so i'll just select tools and then I'll just search employee. It shows a lot number of things, right? Employee. So that's the reason we need to get. Yeah, this was a tool name, right? It says search with this tool. Yeah. So just got this one. Nothing to change. Simply click on add. So now let's try. Just click on run this icon to debug or run. I'll just say person number 20. Let's see what it displays now. So it is calling our business object, get employee details business object, and you can see the response of it, right? Yes, perfect. It generated the employee data and the rest provided the response. This yellow color is only for the debugging purpose. The final one, which you get after this one, yes, this is the output which will be displayed to the end user. This yellow color is only for the debug purpose. It's only for developer purpose, right? As of now, we are not, it is not a published agent. It is it is still in the, you know, like agentic, AI agent editor, right? It is not to the end user. So this is only for developer purpose. In final, generally what we do is we'll be deploying this, you will be publishing the agent and then you'll be assigning the agent to a specific page. That is where from the, that is where the end user will run the demo, run the agent. I'll try to get one more employee, person number 25. Let's try whether this is available or not. It called the LLM, it called the business object, and you can observe this output of this business object. Yes, we got this person number 25, and the first name is Nils, and Loni. Nils Loni is the person detail. So this is how we can create like HRMS, HCM person web service agent. That's all. Thank you.